All right, Dong Hoon, take it away. Hello, everyone. My name is Dong Hoon Kim. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Aerospace Engineering and Engineering Mechanics at the University of Cincinnati. Uh, I'm very excited to be here to share our idea, and I hope you enjoy my pitch. Okay, today we are going to introduce a new innovative engine called Gyro Engine. Imagine some products that we interact with in everyday life. A blender, drill, lawnmower, treadmill, automobile, and elevator. Do you see a common factor for all these products? It is that they are all provide either motors or engine. Some require high speed, and some others require high torque, right? Then how do we amplify the given maximum capacity of motors and engines? The gear plays that role. However, it is known that the gear applied product's efficiency degrades around between 5 to 80 percent. 5 to 80 percent. For smaller products like drill, people don't care this efficiency because the input power required is not that high. However, for bigger products like the elevator, it matters. For this reason, we focus on applications demanding high torque. Stationary systems like conveyors, cranes, escalators use the electric motor, while mobile systems like ships, excavators, and well drill systems use the engine. Okay. As mentioned earlier, there's a significant loss because of gear usage. Also, due to irregular loading utility, it experiences vibration and counter torque influencing the motor life. In addition, mobile systems requiring huge input power mostly rely on fossil fuel that pollute the environment. Our new conceptual line torque generator, Gyro Engine, could be a solution thanks to the following two main features. First, is a torque acceleration, meaning that it could generate high torque with lesser electricity. This will give us better efficiency and lower the operation cost. Second, is a counter torque elimination that can increase lifetime. Our idea stems from how we operate the biggest man-made object in space, in the National Space Station, given limited power. We are the first to bring this down to the Earth. At this point, you may want to know about how efficient our product would be. Let us consider a 10-story shopping mall having four escalators on each floor. It typically operates the escalators for 14 hours a day for six days a week. The average price of the electric motor ranges from $3,000 to $9,000, and our gyro engine price will be comparable. Our product is expected to require lesser maintenance, but we assumed it to be identical for a simple and fair comparison. Given the average electricity cost, the current utility is about $223,000 per year, but it is expected to be $58,000 per year by using our gyro engine, which is about a 74% reduction from the current utility bill. In 2020, the electric motor market size was evaluated as about $130 billion, and the high torque motor market size was about $580 million. In 2026, the electric and high torque motor market size is expected to grow about 1.4 and 1.8 times respectively. The engine market size is expected to grow 1.6 times from 2020 to 2028. We don't know the market size that we can target for the engine at this moment, but the entire market size that we can target will be over $1.1 billion in 2026. This shows some exemplary applications, and our gyro engine could change current market ecosystem in a much better way. We validated our concept through simulation studies and filed patents for conceptual design. Now, we are ready to build a minimum viable product to demonstrate the feasibility of our concept and file additional patents. Next, 
we are targeting to commercialize our initial product around the end of 2025. Our team has over 70 years of development and research experience by managing 34 projects with a secured funding of about $4 million. Also, in light of the number of publications and patents, we are not only active researchers, but also enthusiastic inventors. However, we do need some guidance for our business model. If you are interested in our idea and vision, please be part of us. Thank you.